Hello and welcome back to the Boys8867 uh, YouTube channel and today in this video we will be talking about Celtic's latest fixture against Livingston which finished in a 2-0 result for Livingston and Celtic's next game against Ross County. In the game against Livingston I think we were a bit scrappy, uh, we played like just overall poor performance from right from the get-go playing balls up into Livingston's hands we were playing like how Livingston wanted us to play, we can't be doing that in the game because it opens up chances for them. They created two, I'd say, good enough goals to prove that they're a good enough side in the league. Robinson scored in the first one, and then Lyndon Dykes with a chip on Fraser Forster in the second one, which I think was very cheeky, which obviously creates like wonderful goals. If you've got the cheek and the attitude on the pitch, you're going to score good goals, and Lyndon Dykes did have that cheek and attitude and scored a wonderful chip. Robinson's goal was down to stupidity from the defence. Ayer went to go track down one of their attacking players and Julian went along with him and left Bauer to try and chase him down. And then Bauer stops running because he thinks Forster's going to save it and it creates a goal 1-0. And um, I think from a free kick, uh, Lyndon Dykes just taps the ball with his foot and it goes over Fraser Forster and it's a goal we finished 2-0 Livingston. There's nothing we can really do about that game. But in the next game against Ross County, like there's a lot of things we need to work on. Obviously, Ryan Christie gets sent off in the Livingston game, so he won't be able to play. So I've for the lineup, I'm also going to be doing like a lineup uh, in this video. And the lineup that I've went for in this video was Forster, El Hamid, Julian, Ayer, Bolly, McGregor, Brown, Rogic, El Unice, Forrest, and Odson Edward. And the reason for my lineup is because I think. We will put our put out our best team just because the international break everyone's fit, so that's a good shout on why I feel like. Just, obviously, with Christie being sent off, this could be this could actually be a very good chance for Rogic to try and break back into the team, uh, but he's only got one or two games to do it. Forster, I think, just one game we've been uh, we've been beaten, he got chipped, but I think he'll still start, and to like to Celtic fans that are going mental and all that or like the game it's one game first defeat of the season get over it we've got ross county soon and then we've got we've got livingston in november uh, at parkhead we'll show them we'll show them up then uh but predictions for the ross county game i've went 2-0 celtic if we can play like how we played against clue and if we don't i think it'll be a right struggle because ross county are proven to be a good team as well so that's a big struggle for us if we can't play well I think Odson Edward needs to get back on the score sheet. I don't think he'll score. I think the scorers will be Rogic and Forrest, if this is how the team looks. Uh, I feel like just the defence needs to get a grip. I don't think Bauer will start because Bauer just created too many gaps. So did Julian, but Julian's like too good a defender not to start. So I think we will start him. Ayer as well created too many gaps, but he tried his best. But Julian just followed him all over the pitch. It was kind of like... Um, on a wee bra's first day of school, uh, when the, he's following the big bra, that's kind of what Julian was doing to Ayer. McGregor and Brown, uh, I don't think there's anyone that could really replace them except for in Cham. Rogic wouldn't be starting if it was for Christie, first degree fucking murder. They're on the game on Sunday, first degree murder. Um, but to people that abused Ryan Christie on Twitter about the game, what the hell you doing that for? He's the Camus player on the pitch created one mistake and got sent off for it. Yeah, fair enough, it was a bad challenge. But you don't go abusing him because he had one bad game uh, in the first defeat of the season. There's still, like, I think there's another 30-odd games left, something like that. Um, but anyway, that's the prediction for the Ross County game. My thoughts on the Livingston game, I think we just need to pick up the uh, form some of the players just really need to get a grip or else they will be dropped from the team as what I hope Neil Lennon would do. But that's basically my predictions for the games, my analysis on the Livingston 2 Celtic 0 game and I'll see you guys on like after the Ross County game and I'll see you guys later.